Yo, what's going on, YouTube? Guard Upon Defense here, back with a video today. In this video, I'll be making the shooting guard build that you guys have been asking for. If you guys didn't notice on my community tab, I asked for what position you guys wanted to see the most in the NBA 2K22 current gen builder. And shooting guard was the one that was a lot of the comments are about, so that's what I'm going to start with. And in this video, I'll be going over the red and green pie chart. You'll see which one it is. But yeah, before we get into that, if you're new to the channel, that sub button around the road to 900 subscribers really close. So if we could hit that, I'd really appreciate it. Leave a like down below if you enjoyed and leave a comment for some video ideas and what build videos you want to see. Anything like that, really. But yeah, as I said, shooting guard, then just do whatever with the hand and stuff. And the pie chart, man, this pie chart is so broken. Um, this is the one you normally would see with the green and red, but just pay attention to the defense. So you see 83 ball, you know, 85, 85, 91. You go down here. Look at this. Not this one, not this one, sorry. This one right here. Look at this. <laughs> so you go down what? Two on your perimeter, one on your lat, and two on your steel, right? We gain a plus nine three ball. Are you kidding me? Like, I understand that you lose Hall of Fame defensive badges, but really that's not a huge deal in my opinion. I feel like gold is just as good in most cases, so. And honestly, Hall of Fame badges are kind of overkill. Paying four badge points for one badge isn't really worth it in my opinion. I'd rather have a good spread. So yeah, definitely go with this pie chart for this build. And this is going to be a taller build. You definitely want to go with the speed pie chart here. And now, this is going to be a cone type player. This is not someone who's going to be the most reliable person on offense. Because we're going to do everything we can to get every single defensive badge. Because that's the whole point of the build, right? So you can see here I got 21. We're going to drop the offense rebound a little bit. We still got a great rebound in general. So... This is all going to go up with height and wingspan. So right here, so you got pretty good interior, you know, pretty solid everything. Then you go up to the shooting, mid-range, three ball, free throw, you, or you can go with post fade. It's, or even both if you kind of want to do a little bit of both there. And if you don't really care about post fade, hey, go ahead and just do this. I mean, it's kind of up to you, preference based. Uh, if you want to just be the most knockdown shooter possible, 26 badges. There you go, just like that. Uh, that's crazy to not even be up here green and have that many. And then I would just put the rest in playmaking. And then drop this one by one. And a 54 dunk. So I know a lot of people are going to be like, why don't you have any finishing? But this is a build that you're going to be spotting up basically the entire game. You might have a few backdoor cuts in there. And if you get the 41 dunk, you're still able to dunk. So you get some rim grazers, you get some hangs off one. If you would like to have more finishing, again, I said you could... Lower the post fade a little bit, get some more. It, I just feel like it's not worth losing that many badges. I mean, yes, getting a 75 dunk for those animations is cool, but you still need Silver Limitless Takeoff to even activate him, which would mean you need a lot of points, like a lot of points, just to even get a second badge. Like, it's not even worth, in my opinion. So that's why I just recommend you say screw the finishing because you're really not going to be finishing at the rim a lot. And if you do, you can just pump fake. People are going to jump. Yeah, it's pretty simple stuff honestly so this is what i feel like you should do is this and if you want max post fit you can also do that but for me this would be the best wing build in the game uh this is just ridiculous for current gen and it gets even more ridiculous as you mess with the height and wingspan so make sure you go barely on this uh, height now 1.96 is about 6.5 and you're gonna want to bump this up anywhere from I mean, 6.7 is not bad. I just feel like the perimeter is not as high as you'd like it to be. Uh, honestly, probably right around right around here. Actually, right here. This is just under seven or 6.7. And then the weight, you're going to lose a little bit of interior, but the speed is so much more beneficial for you. Um, wingspan, of course. Max this out. Now, as you can see, you're going to have... An 87 lateral on basically a 6-7 player, an 85 three ball. If you want the 86 three ball, you can drop it by one, or you can uh, be one inch, or one, not one inch, sorry. You can be a little bit shorter, and you'll be able to just have that 86 three ball, which means basically always going to be green if you know what you're doing. So as you can see right here, same thing. It's just kind of preference. You're going to have a 60 dunk rating, which is honestly fine. A lot of the safe dunks in this game are better than any of the other flashy dunks people like to use for some reason, so... You have really no problem with this. You got 70 ball handle eventually, so I mean, you don't need the finish. I'm, I'm promise you guys, you don't need it like that. 
Especially when you have a point guard that can run to the rim. You don't want to be in his way. If you have a, a lot of times it's going to be the center and point guard that can be running to the rim. That's their type of play style. I wouldn't recommend running this build with like a play shot. If someone's a play shot and they really can't dunk either, it's really not going to be nice to have two people that can't go to the rim and just have a center that can do it. You can make it work, but in my opinion, you definitely want to have a point guard that can rim run if you're going to use this build next to them. But yeah, the height, it's kind of just whichever you want. I honestly feel like you could even go 2.01 and just mess with it a little bit. It just, you're not really going to, I mean, you're going to have decent lateral quickness. You have, uh, what is that, 86, which honestly not too bad. So you could even go here if you wanted to. Uh, 85 board as well. That's nice to have. This would be a pretty good small forward build. You could even run at the 2 because it's fast enough to play the 2, which is wild. And you still got good interior. The rebounding is great. So, yeah. Just kind of pick whichever height you feel the most comfortable with. I wouldn't recommend really going past 2.01 because you're taking a big hit to the whole point of your defense. I mean, if you want to play more like a big man, if you want to play like a big man role, you could, but the, you have no finishing, so I wouldn't really recommend doing that. Me personally, I would just say, to go right here, uh, you're just going to have a good height and then just max the wingspan. So yeah, something like this would be nice for your build. Got a good block rating and everything, so this seems like the best to me. And then for takeover, I mean, if you want to be a lock, be a lock. If you want to be a sharp, be a sharp. It's kind of up to you. Uh, Playmaker is nice to have, but I don't think you're going to be making plays as much. So definitely between these two, if you want to just be more of a lockdown and just be that on-ball defender, go ahead and use lock. If you want to be a knockdown shooter, go with that. But for this build, it's supposed to be a lockdown, so let's go with lockdown. And it's called the perimeter lockdown. So really, if you don't want to be this high, you can go to 2.01, maybe even down to 1.97 at the lowest, somewhere around there. I wouldn't go too short because you're supposed to be... I mean, mismatch expert is a thing, but to me, being taller is going to help you just get more bumps and be kind of a menace on defense. So yeah, hope you guys did enjoy. And like I said, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hope you see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.